if you're using Cloudflare on your site, you can easily integrate it with WP Rocket. Let's have a look at how to do that. Cloudflare calls itself a CDN, but it doesn't work in the same way as traditional CDNs, like Key CDN, Bunny CDN, or StackPath. So if you're using Cloudflare, you won't use the CDN tab in WP Rocket. To use the WP Rocket Cloudflare add-on, there are a couple of requirements you should know about. First, your Cloudflare account should be set up and active for your domain. You can follow their support guide if you haven't done this yet. Second, you can't use our add-on and the official Cloudflare plugin at the same time. So if you have that installed, make sure it's deactivated before going further. And finally, you'll need direct access to your Cloudflare account. If your host set it up for you through an automatic integration, you won't need to use our add-on. Go ahead and log in to your Cloudflare account now, since you'll need to find some info there to complete the integration. Now head over to the Add-ons tab in WP Rocket, toggle the Cloudflare setting to on, then click Modify Options. Next, you'll need to copy some information from your Cloudflare account. First up, your global API key, which is found on your Cloudflare profile screen. Your Cloudflare account email is the one you use to log into Cloudflare, and the zone ID is specific for each domain. You'll find it on the overview page for your domain in Cloudflare. The main purpose of the add-on is to give you some convenient controls without having to leave your WordPress dashboard. Here's what you can do directly from the add-on instead of logging into Cloudflare. Enabling development mode pauses the Cloudflare caching for three hours. This is handy if you need to debug something. Optimal settings is a one-click method to activate some safe and common settings, and we recommend turning this on. It sets Cloudflare's caching level to standard, and it modifies Cloudflare's browser cache expiration to work better with speed testing tools. It also activates Cloudflare's minification. But don't worry, it's perfectly fine to use this in combination with WP Rocket's own file minification. Then it deactivates Cloudflare's rocket loader. Despite the name, that feature is unrelated to WP Rocket and it can cause some problems. So we recommend you turn it off as a precaution. You can override any of these settings by logging into your Cloudflare account itself and adjusting them there. Moving on, the relative protocol setting should only be used if you're using flexible SSL in Cloudflare. It removes the HTTP or HTTPS from all your file URLs to prevent any mixed content warnings. With the default Cloudflare settings, you'll rarely have to purge the entire cache, but you can do so from here if needed. Just a heads up, when Cloudflare's minification is active, it removes our caching footprint, making it a bit harder to verify that WP Rocket is active. For details about this, watch our video on how to check to see whether or not WP Rocket is caching your site. All right. Now your site should be all set to work with Cloudflare and WP Rocket together.